guys how's it going uh, welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title of the video we'll be looking at femininity in fashion um, really inspired by the film Pretty Woman. If you look at the film throughout from beginning to end, it's a really versatile style and way in which how femininity can be appeared in fashion. Many of the outfits created for the film was actually created by costume designer Marilyn Vance. A lot of the outfits throughout the film were actually created by scratch. Incorporating fabrics that she found through uh, thrifted fabric stores as well as pieces that she owned herself with the first piece that we see throughout the film which is the dress with the ring so the two piece i have to call this piece her uniform as we see her multiple times wearing this in a particular scenes in that particular setting um fun fact is that bottom dyed uh blue tie-dyed piece was actually a swimsuit material that marilyn had owned and she used it as the bottoms of the dress the ring that you see is a piece of jewelry that she actually connected the top and bottom half of the dress and it's actually seen at the back. She just had to have a coherent for the dress to work, which is really interesting. Uh, originally, the director actually wanted uh, Vivian to wear a motorcycle jacket borrowed from a boyfriend type look, but Marilyn worked her way around this and was able to create a long coat. So it still had that borrowed from your boyfriend vibe, but not entirely a leather jacket, it still worked. And the Greek fisherman's cap is actually straight off from Marilyn's head on set. They just popped it off from her, put it straight into Julia, and was like, yep, that looks great, let's just go. <laughs> so the timing of the film is actually quite interesting if you look at it, because this film came out in 1990. We were really shifting away from the broad shoulders of the 80s and moving more towards the 90s. So it was really interesting, you could see the dresses and the silhouette um, that Vivian wears throughout the film you can totally see the shift from the 80s to the 90s. So that's a very key thing to keep in mind. A good example is the white dress that we see Vivian, uh, Vivian in with the white buttoned up dress. Um, you can see bits and pieces of the 80s throughout the film because it was filmed in 1989, but the white dress still has some broad shoulders and a lift to it, but the 90s aspect of that dress is it's a, fit, a form fitted dress and the buttoned up as well introduces a new kind of style to femininity, a new kind of era to femininity, and it's really interesting that dress to look at. In the 80s, it was all about the broad shoulders. The broad shoulders was to highlight, you know, women in the office about being confident and strong and there was that power lift whilst wearing the padded shoulders. And with the 90s twist to it, the padded shoulders and the white dress still shows that sense of power and authority and strength. But the form-fitted aspect of the dress really gives it a sense of uh, sensuality and a, a sexy flair, you can say. But it really is about um, highlighting the delicate side, I guess, of femininity, but still in a strong and direct manner. So another interesting dress is the black lace dress that uh, Vivian wears later on. I think it's throughout the middle of the film. So what was smart of Marilyn is what she did is she focused a lot on Julia's natural physique so she realized that um Julia's decollete or like off the shoulders were really flattering to her which is a good thing to point out in femininity is it's not necessarily about pastel colors dressing in very flowy dresses or very tight dresses or just like all those pieces it's about finding pieces that are flattering to your own physique that's what can easily make anything feminine. So say you have nice shoulders, you have your arms and so forth, you know. So it's a good thing that this movie highlights. It doesn't focus so much on red and pink and all those feminine soft colours. It's really about the styling for the person and their physique. What is flattering to them? What will make it more feminine for them, you know? Dress is interesting because she actually cut out the lace part to show off her shoulders and um, it's the form fittedness of that dress again highlighting Julia's figure is what makes it more feminine I guess and she didn't really use such um, strong colors either for that dress it's just a simple plain black dress again to show you don't have to go all out to be considered to dress feminine it's really about just simplicity and being minimal I mean if you like 
to dress all out in feminine, that's fine too. But it's just interesting to see how femininity in fashion can be portrayed and worn in totally different aspects in different ways. So if you want to throw in a bit of colour theory in there, you can say black represents uh, Vivian's strength and her mysteriousness behind her character, but that lace and the silhouette highlights delicacy and just light-hearted softness qualities about her character too. So another significant piece and iconic dress from the film is the red ball gown dress. The very funny thing about this dress is the director actually really, really, really wanted the dress to be black. Rosa Marilyn, the costume designer, fought really hard for it to be red. There was about four different design sketches, I believe it was, until the dress was finally chosen and was made. I'm so glad the dress was in red, to be honest. I couldn't picture it in black. She had a couple of black dresses in the film, so it was nice to have her step out in a bold colour. I feel like if she wore it in blue, in pink, in orange, in green, I, I feel it still would have still worked. And that's because of the silhouette of the dress. If you look at the dress, once again, they've done off the shoulder because it's to highlight Julia's natural uh, physique. It's what's most flattering to her. And if you look at the silhouette of the dress, it actually kind of reflects back to ball gowns, some from the 1940s and even the Edwardian era. If you look at how it was all about a slim waist and had some volume behind, I feel like that's where she was kind of getting the idea from. Well, that's what I could see from it anyway. So taking inspiration from the past and looking at feminine dresses and styles and qualities from the past and incorporating that in a modern way really was the smart thing that Marilyn did. Another very feminine technique about this dress is more so about the structure, less so about the color. If you look at the neckline, it's actually quite strongly cut. It's very fine, there's not that many embellishments, there's not that many extra details, it's just a straight up sweetheart off the shoulder neckline. And if you look at the detailing at the front too, there's a bit of drapeness that comes from the center of the dress. That drapeness adds delicacy. So the color is strong and fiery and highlighting Vivian's feisty character personality, but that delicacy in the neckline and the draping of the dress really adds that feminine qualities to it. And it's not something that's so obvious either. It's a very simple thing as draping, which can be seen in 1940s um, formal dresses too, and ball gown dresses if you look back at that era. It's really about the silhouette and that drapeness and the slight volume around the waistline, which you can see from that dress. Another little cherry on top, I think, which made it more feminine was definitely the gloves. Gloves are a very long history in society and most often seen by men and women, but the long, obviously, by women. So something as simple as that as well really tapped into the feminine side of Julie's, um, sorry I keep saying Julie, of Vivian's character and really um, showcases that feminine quality of her character but in a not so obvious way. Like it's a simple white glove that just sits against this lovely red dress with little details such as a sweetheart neckline which is already a delicate feminine neckline and the draping at the front of the dress which is a very delicate quality and skill as well to have so just those little things that weren't so obvious but very simplistic and minimal still really showed how femininity can be portrayed in fashion and in film. And lastly not so obvious piece of the film which I actually really liked it was the last outfit that Vivian wears when she's wearing a white t-shirt with tucked into some jeans and just a blazer. Simple as that t-shirt jeans and blazer. I really liked it because it's not it's a nice break from all the dresses that we see Vivian wear throughout the film so it was really a nice break up um, between all the other costumes. Interesting too because Marilyn said that it's because she's in a new mindset now Vivian wants to go to college she wants to start a career it's really like she's kind of transformed as a character herself in, into a newer improved version of herself and I like how for me personally, the t-shirt and the jeans kind of taps into her original s story in a way because although she was really emphasized to dress really feminine for her job, it kind of showed her in her more relaxed state. 
but with the blazer and the hair out it just added a bit more of like her newer mindset and her how she's really transformed as a character how this is her new uniform per se if you wanted to look at that way um again also to show that you don't have to wear a dress to be perceived feminine she literally wears a white t-shirt tucked in with some jeans and straight away just doing that really highlights the waistline again highlighting her natural physique and makes the whole look overall more feminine of course with her hair out too and with the blazer still makes it a bit more feminine you know so it still sort of works you don't have to wear a dress or a skirt to consider femininity in fashion she's just wearing jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer the blazer and the jeans definitely make it really like edgy and kind of cool but tucking it in how she styled it brings attention to her waist having her hair out as well adds a feminine quality and lightheartedness to it so like I said just adding things that represent delicacy really can just change the look overall and give it a, a slight image of femininity or even a complete image of femininity if you know what I mean. <laughs> also behind femininity in fashion it's also about how you represent yourself as a human being and the types of delicate qualities that you have. And I could talk on forever and ever ever but <laughs> I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know down below what you think of the film and about this video. If you learned anything new about femininity in fashion, if you have experience with femininity in fashion, if you want to dabble, if you're struggling, anything that comes into mind like that, just let me know down below. I would love to help you guys out. Um, also, love for you guys to follow me on my Instagram. It's hey with three Y's, Bernie, and my Twitter, which is hey two Y's, <laughs> Bernie. If you want to find out more about me and talk to me from there and i'll see you guys in my next video bye